The elements of the universe, earth, wind, and fire. What a memory, huh? But guess what? This is going to be a memorable moment. It's always a memorable moment when these brothers stop by. I have one of the most distinctive voices of music. He has the, one of the most identifiable voices. And not to mention, I can't begin to tell you how many of us try. That's what we can do is try to imitate this brother. Every time we hear that song, Reasons. We cannot hold that note. But I got the man who holds the note, who made the note. I got the man himself. Brother Philip oh. Bailey. Welcome back to the choir song, brother. Hey, man, it's good to be here. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Good deal. Good deal. Every day is a different adventure, isn't it? It's a it's a it's a different event. <laughs> man, there's so much going on in the world right now. Good things and unfortunately and a lot of bad, bad things. Stuff. Right. You know, no uh, I'm, I'm just happy to see you, man. You know, because the last time we spoke, I think it was before the pandemic hit. Mm-hmm. And obviously the world flattened and, and no one experienced something like that in, in our lives. And, you know, we lost so many people. So it's just good to see you, my brother, and see that you're looking well, doing well. How's the family? Everyone's fine. Everyone's fine. Thank God for I'll, that. All I'll the children are good? No. Everybody's good, yes. I'm well. I'm well, man. Um, we woke up this morning, so that's the greatest gift I'm so happy about. Oh, know? no question. No question. What, what some of y'all may not know, though, ladies and gentlemen, you know, aside from his enormous amount of work that he contributes, just his gift that he naturally gives us over the years, uh, Philip Bailey is involved with so many things. But one of the most important things that uh, you are involved in and that you founded, like probably over 10 years ago, was Music is Unity, mm -hmm. uh, which is a foundation, nonprofit foundation. Can you explain to everyone what MIU, Music is Unity, is all about and why you well, started it? We, we started it about 15 years ago, and I was looking for a cause for uh, my foundation and uh, did some research and found out that the foster care system was one of the most underserved uh, needs in, in, our, in our communities, and uh, especially foster care who are aging out of the system. Mm. And so for that reason, uh, I, we established the Music is Unity Foundation specifically to address the uh, plight of foster youth who are aging out of the system. It's and, a sad uh, thing, man. Yeah, for, and 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 uh, you know every year, you know, you know hundreds of tens of thousands of uh, young folks at eighteen are uh, aged out of the system, and many times. I've ha I had some of them over, some folks over to my house and just heard, heard some of the stories of how their emancipation went. And man, it was, it was terrible. It was something that you never, you ne you can't really imagine. And so for that reason, we've, we've, uh, we've committed to, to, to make, uh, their plights, uh, more uh uh more identifiable you know with people yeah you know so yeah the one thing that we do that's really cool uh we have a thing we call our backstage sound check program i love that and uh we invite foster youth to our backstage to our sound checks and then we introduce them to all the different facets of our touring uh entourage and stuff and uh then they stay and watch the show, uh, and it's it's a great time. But it's a portion of a portion of our proceeds go to Music is Unity, and then we fund different organizations who are helping them with their daily plight, with their daily needs. I love that. And you know, it, sometimes you have to take children out of their natural environment to just expose them to something else, and that is such a breathtaking, uh, amazing, eye-opening experience going to a sound check. I mean, how many, how many regular people go to that? So you, I can only imagine how that is for, for, for a kid, for sure. Yeah, it's pretty cool. They, they, they enjoy it. And, you know, like, it, it's funny because, you know, they don't have any idea of all the things that uh, uh, come in line with, you know, seeing a show. Yeah. You know, they don't know everything that goes on. 
I'm impressed myself, brother. We have Philip yeah, Bailey cool. with us from Earth, Wind, and Fire. Uh, I'm going to go into a song that uh, you cats did recently. Babyface hooked up with y'all. Was that the first time you hooked up with Babyface? Well, it's the first time. It's first time working with him. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. But and, we had it. It was cool. He brought this brother, young young cat, Lucky Day, with him. Yeah. And did you guys have to revamp the song, or you pretty much used what you had from back in the oh, day? Oh no, no, they no they 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 re they tweaked it. You know, they they uh, Babyface redid it, and uh, then you know they you know they they re rewrote the the lyrics and stuff, and uh, it was it was a lot of fun, and and it we had some success on it in radio. Welcome inside the quiet storm. It's back to back slow jams, ear candy the way you like it, and you know it sounds even better when we have company over. And we have one of the most dynamic brothers in music. I love him and his brothers. And of course, we will always remember the great Maurice White because he was the foundation that kind of built up this wonderful institution of music called Earth, Wind, and Fire. No uh, we have Philip Bailey with us. And brother, it's always great to see you. Um, if you're just joining us, we are talking about his foundation that he found 15 years ago called Music is Unity, uh, abbreviated as MIU. And, you know, you were explaining how it helps foster children. Um, and I know your organization has also helped many foster agencies. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty much a shame how when a child grows up in the foster care system, they you use the term age out. Once they age out, um, this may sound a little stupid, but what happens to the kid? They just kind of live their life and like, good luck, see you later? Okay, well, now not all of them now, because I don't want, okay. you know, a lot of uh, former foster uh, parents to to feel like, you know, like we're dishing on, on them, because every one of them, right. it's not the same situation. True. But in a lot of cases, and too many, these got, these kids are put out with what they have. And many times without a suitcase mm. and you're on your own because now, the, you know, the person that they were staying with no longer gets any uh, money from, you know, the system. Yeah. So it's like, OK, well, you see you. Wow. And uh, yeah, so it's like and their plight goes from it's just heartbreaking, you know, to living under bridges and. You know, yeah, right. going into the, the, the penal institutions and and trafficking know, is very big in the United States. All yeah, kind right. of different yeah. stuff, you know. So, yeah. So, you know, like a portion of our proceeds go to, to agencies who helps those individuals who has uh, aged out of the system with toilet paper, you know, with, yeah. you know, essentials. Uh, uh, the, the essentials of life, as well as, you know, tuitions. Uh, for school counseling. Wow. wow. Uh, so um, this coming uh, February 9th, we're doing a, a level up conference. Hmm. Uh, you can you can go to musicisunity.org to find out about it. But it's from three to five Eastern time. And uh, what we do is uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna my eyes are gonna move because I so I can read a, a little bit here. Um, we're, we're, we're going to uh, have a conference that um, will inspire and educate and prepare foster youth uh, for adulthood as they age out of the system. Oh, that's great. And there's three uh, foster, there's three um, foundations who are responsible for this. Uh, the, the, the Felix organization co-founded by um, uh, Rum D, Run DMC. Oh, yeah. And, uh, uh, and a casting director, uh, Sheila uh, Jaffe, and then the Purple Project, the, uh, the Purple, the Purple Project, um, and that's founded by uh, Letitia Watts. But the three of us are all joining together, mm -hmm. and we're going to be. It's a, it's a virtual event, and uh, then they're going to have a kind of a TED Talk thing at the end. Oh, good. Um, that helps to uh, uh, for planning career, safety, health self-care and relationships so once again that's going to be on february 9th It's a virtual pro program um how can they find out more about it do they go to the music is unity yep they go to music is unity.org okay music is unity ladies and gentlemen it's virtual so that means in the comfort of wherever you might be mm -hmm. and this is a wonderful thing because you would want to know and you would want to support if you can um in any way shape and form but 
it's going to be insightful, educational, and bring a lot of awareness to those of us who are totally, you know, not familiar with what goes on and what happens and the concern of what happens once these children get to a certain adult age. I guess that would be 21 in most cases or 18, depending on the state. No, 18, 18, 18, a 18, Ooh, 18. That's right. And, and I have an 18 year old and he, and there's, there's no way that he's ready to, for the to, world. Yeah. For the world. Right. Philip Bailey with us from earth, wind and fire. I want to go into, um, I sing a song. Ah, okay. And, uh, we'll come back and no, I'm, I'm, I'm off track. We're going to go into, let's go into, I write a song. Okay. Remember that song? Oh, yeah. <laughs> was that what? Who, tell me I the wrote story that. Behind it. I actually wrote that song, and I was we, I was in uh, Miami, Florida when I wrote the lyrics. And uh, Al McKay actually and a friend did the, did the music, uh, sent me the track. And and I had just found out that that my, uh, my uh, daughter, mm -hmm. uh, P. Lee, was uh conceive was going to uh, uh be born wow. and i wrote that for her mm -hmm. i love it soft music and soothing bubble baths ladies is what we provide along with the backdrop of what you need i can't put you to sleep tonight but i am going to put you to bed i'm lenny green and i thank you for turning us on inside the choir storm tonight you turned on just enough to catch our special guest my dear brother philip bailey of earth wind and fire is joining us tonight and in case you are wondering well is does Earth, Wind, and Fire have any new music coming out? We'll come to that in just a moment. But the most important thing right now that Philip is working on, um, and you know what, February is already here now. So on February 9th, we would love for you to be a part of this level up virtual experience that Philip Bailey and a host of others will be joining in on. And you can definitely join in and learn more about the foster care system and, and how the children go through it and how they age out of it and how and what can be done once they get to adulthood. So I know it's going to be insightful and informative. And Philip, please tell everyone once again how they can find out more information about it and become a part of this uh, virtual experience on February 9th. Well, you can visit musicisunity.org to find out uh, more about the uh, Level Up Conference happening on the 9th of February at uh, 3 to 5 Eastern Time and uh, find out what we're doing uh, get involved and champion the cause for the plight of foster youth who are aging out of the system. Is there a donation that we have to make to be a part of this? No, you could just go there and, and become involved and, and uh, all the donations are definitely welcomed, but you would, you would do that there as well. You know, you were once, uh, you once stated that music is about making music is about being, you know, it is involving. Mm -hmm. And I, I assume that what you do with Music is Unity, this foundation that you started, is all a part of that. You want children to evolve and to grow and develop. And obviously, by being a phenomenal dad that you are, you're taking a great interest in, in others to make sure that they get a chance, at least. Well, you know, each one of us, you know, has a, a, an enormous, uh, not only a responsibility, but uh, we have an enormous reach and power that that we can uh, demonstrate, you know, to make the world a better place. Well, brother, you have done that on multiple levels and we commend you and applaud you for all the efforts and time that you take out to pour into other aspects aside from giving us your gift. So, um, man, I'm sure I speak for millions to say simply thank you uh, for all that you've done, all that you continue to do. Thank you too, Lenny. You know, you've been a champion in the community for a long time yourself, you know, and uh, big ups to you too. Thank you, brother. As soon as I can figure out the technology, yeah, I'll be us all right. both. <laughs> us both, right. <laughs> but it's going to be okay, brother. It's going to be okay. Brother, um, I know you're traveling around the country. Uh, then things are back to almost normal, if not normal. Yeah. Yeah. So did, 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 I know you're coming into Florida. You're coming to Florida. You wrote a oh, song we're always, Florida. I know. We're always we're always coming to Florida. Some you know, d either in or doing corporates or or, or through the tour. We were there um, uh, just this past year with with Santana, mm -hmm. and then we play a lot of uh, 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 small halls there too. 
There is not a hole that <laughs> your fan base, <laughs> Earth and Fire's fan base is so enormous. You, you know, people are mad when you get in those small halls because, you know, not everybody, <laughs> can, not everybody can fill them up, man. You guys are at stadium level now at these days. But yeah, but is there new music coming out from Earth, Wind & Fire? Not right, not, not, not right now. We're, you know, we are just finishing the tour, you know, uh, right before the, the holidays. And uh, everybody's taking a break right now. Uh, and they got prepared for the summer. I got you. I got you. Well, please give my regards to Verdine and to Ralph and the rest of the crew. And uh, be safe along your travels, brother. I'm here if you need me to get the word out on anything you need. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Philip Bailey, Earth, Wind & Fire, baby. Let me drop another one of these classics from Earth, Wind & Fire that I know you'll appreciate. Ladies, prepare yourself now. Hold on to something. I'm going to shake the block a little bit inside of the quiet storm tonight.